Hey everyone, this is Patch 5.3, and this week's God Guide winner is Hoonbots. So, let's start with them. So, you're going to do the normal Assassins, Yodens, two health, and one mana. That's the build I believe is right still. Um, there has been another build uh, popping up recently, as if you've been watching SPL, then you would have realized it as well. It is level 1 Morningstar here, and then you have 100 gold left. Uh, I'm going to do two builds, one with the build I believe, and one with the other possible build. Though it's going to be pretty similar, just like one item difference. So let's get back to that. So pretty standard. This, and a Crusher. Uh, Crusher is just the best early game item in the game right now. You just must pick this up in my mind. Either first or second. That's it. After that, get Yodens. Uh, why cooldown on Hoombot Salt has always been super strong, and that's really the big thing. You want to just be able to pop beads and then kill people without beads. That's how I play Hoombots. That's how I think it's valuable. After that, I actually... There's very few people that do this, but I like Relic here. Why? Because when you have Blink and Relic Dagger, it gets you to be able to Blink alts, get their beads more often, and you actually don't need the damage from like another item. Relic Dagger is good enough. So... Uh, then you go Brawlers. This is going to be, what, one, two, three, four, five? Yep. Uh, so right here is the only um, I'm iffy on. It's Hydros. The only reason I'm iffy on this now is because Blink recently got a 20 second increase, I believe. So now it's 120 seconds. With Relic Dagger, that brings it down to 90 seconds. Hoombots Alt has a base cooldown of 100 seconds. So really, you only need 10 second cooldown to match Relic Dagger now, or to match Blink. The reason I go for more than... 10% uh, cooldown is because you usually don't need a blink alt to get beads repeatedly. You can sometimes just flank and then you ult. Uh, so right here, I'm not sure. I think it's just like a higher DPS item. So right now you can go maybe Heartseeker, uh, Titans even. Really, Crit even is fine. I'm shifting away from Hydras at this point. Now let's go back to the other build. This build's going to look very similar. There's only going to be like one item difference. So you finish Trans. Then you build Crusher. Then you build Yodens. Then you build Relic Dagger. Then you build Brawlers. That's this build. I'm still a little skeptical on this for the one reason of... Trans early game is a lot worse than Crusher, so not only do you get Crusher online sooner, Crusher does more when it's online, and Trans you have to stack. So that's really it. Let's go to abilities, take Somersault, then jump. I put two points in this, then Sacred Monkey, Alt, Max Overhand, that, Max Sacred Monkey, Fear No Evil. Okay, so some of you might be wondering this. I go 2 because 3 does out damage it, but I just prefer the 2 right now still due to, I believe the 3 has a higher cooldown as well. Yeah, it's a second. It's You're missing 5 damage, but you make that up. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I take my 1 over my 3 because if you level 2, you'll probably be around at a point where you can be like attacked by the enemy and the 1 just get away. Hoonbots doesn't have a good early game, so you definitely want to be able to get away from a fight. After that, take two points of my two. Helps you clear better. It's more mana efficient than two threeing. Then I take my three because you have to take this at this point. Alt. Now, the next biggest thing people might realize is I don't max my alt uh, over my two or my three. The reason is alt, Hoombot's alt doesn't really get that much better until you get more cooldown. It's only 0.25 second increase in the duration of it, which isn't a giant amount. So you just want to be able to spam this later, and when you're able to spam it and kill, they don't have beads, that's when the ult increase matters. So just go for higher damage output with the 2-3. I'm actually over 1 because you should never really be using your 1 to damage. Outside of that, that's uh, Hoonbot's abilities and build. We're going to be shifting over to tips and tricks. Hey, so we're going to break up Hoonbot's into three portions. It's going to be as early, mid, and late. The reason I'm doing only three portions instead of like say four to five is because Hoombots is pretty straightforward with when you can and can't fight with them. Early you cannot. Getting an early kill as Hoombots should almost never happen and that's because Hoombots' values just on his abilities are really low. Like look, 50 damage at level 1, 75 at level 1, 80 at level 1. Those are incredibly low values. Getting a first blood should not happen unless the enemy really messes up. So, you're 
whole point as soon bots until five should be I'm going to farm. I'm never going to fight. I'm going to take all the farm I can get, and once I'm five, I can look to gank. That should happen probably once you have boots, and it's, this should be like the point when you're at five. This isn't too strong. Uh, if you gank on this, it probably won't result in a kill. It will probably result in a back, but that can still really help out a lane. So I would still look to do that. If not, a perfectly fine option is also just keep farming. Once you have Crusher though, Crusher is where you actually have very good kill potential. I would, personally, you can't farm until you have Crusher in a competitive game. But as a ranked player, yes you can. You can definitely farm at that point. Once you have Crusher, I would look for what lanes can be abused the most by the ult. The ult is obviously one of the best ults in the game. It's a giant AoE circle, just for anyone that doesn't know for some reason. AoE fear all around. So, very good kill potential. One thing a lot of people tend to do on Hoombots, and it matters a lot more early game than late, is they will go in and ult. And then they'll like two. Don't do that. What you want to do, if you're looking to gank and you know it's a 1v2 situation, you jump to slow. Auto, always between wave. Always between abilities. Use your passive auto. If you ever get a crit, that increases your kill chance significantly. So after you land, you auto. Then you 3, auto attack. 3, auto. 2, and then you keep autoing. Until they're about to get say like let's say this is their tower line and he's running towards it. When he's about to get in tower, I ult him out of it towards me. You also might have just saw I did something there. I'll get into that later. But what I did right there is I body block. And it matters not much early game. It matters a lot more later. And I'll show you that later, so don't worry. After that, next power spec for Humbots isn't too big. It's Yodens. You get this out of needing cooldown. It leads to a bigger power spec later in my mind. So Yodin's power spike isn't massive, but it's definitely nice. By the way, go blink level 1 on Hoombots. You blink all, it's always super strong. So right here's not much of a power spike. I wouldn't worry too much. After that, you can go Relic. You can go Brawlers. I honestly probably prefer Brawlers now instead of Relic Dagger. I know I might have done it in the other order for the... um how to build. And the one thing about Hoonbots is his items aren't very precise in the order. You can build them how in whatever order you want outside of, outside of Crusher, I would say. So if I need more damage, I would just go Brawlers, which I do think is correct here because Blink got nerfed. I don't have too much cooldown already. Getting the pressure out is probably better than just spamming cooldowns. Because if I go Relic Dagger, I probably don't have the one-shot potential right now. Late game, when I'm six-slotted, I will though, on a squishy, if they don't have actives. So, Brawlers is definitely a big buy. Why? Passive, pen, just, it's a strong assassin item. You definitely have high kill chance with this, so this is when I would accept the fact, like, I'm a very strong 1v1 god. I'm not saying look for 1v1s as Hoombots, he's definitely a much stronger team fighter than 1v1er, but 1v1ing at this point in the game is perfectly fine. Yes, your four items deep, but you're a Hoombot, you're one of the best team fight gods in the game. Having a bad 1v1 until late game is perfectly acceptable. Then I would go Relic. I think this is even more needed since Blink got nerfed. And then right here, you might have one uh, kill potential on a squishy with no beats. It's situational. It depends how really big you are in levels. If you have like four points in your ult, yeah, I could see that. If not, probably not then. But once you're at this point, where is... What am I missing? Relic. I think I said go... <laughs> Sorry, D really dry nose right now. Um, what did I say? Brawlers, Yodens. I don't know why I'm. Oh, you can go Deathbringer or you can go Hydras. I'm just gonna go Hydras because I know Hydras you one shot with this. But Deathbringer is perfectly fine. Hydras fine. Really, any damage item here is good. That would be the main focus. Heartseeker is a good buy. I'm not the biggest fan of Heartseeker because when you ult, it can be a little awkward with who you hit. You want to usually single out a target when you won't kill them while hitting everyone. So let's say like there's a group right here and I know there's like this is Soul and I know Soul Hot doesn't have beats. I'm going to ult the middle to spread everyone out, but I'm going to start focusing Soul. That's how you generally want to play Hoonbots in a team fight. Outside of that, don't be afraid to ever just blink alt. You don't need to always just get a kill. Like, the only way to 
get their beads down is to blink ult a lot of the time. So just do that. Be willing to trade blink ult for beads. You have a shorter cooldown. You have Relic Dagger with this. This is on a 90 second cooldown. So we went through spikes. We talked a little about uh, really how to gank, I guess, right there. Or how to trade like effectively actives with Thumbots. That's a big thing. Let's go with like little uh, mechanical abilities. You kind of saw this earlier with um, the... I guess you could say rotation of abilities I did. But one thing with Hoombots is really key to being a good Hoombots is his 3. A lot of people don't seem to use his 3 to auto attack cancel outside of high level play. It is incredible. Hoombots has one of the smoothest auto first autos in the game. This leads to having an incredible first auto attack. So if I'm ever boxing someone, I auto 3, auto 3, boom. As you saw, I got 3 autos there. Faster. I could probably get 3 autos in there in the span of 2 times with an ability. So, knowing how to cancel with your 3 is massive. Second, knowing how to position your ult. This sounds incredibly simple, but having a... Let's, as I said, let's say this is the center. If I position here, they're all being grouped still. If I position here, they're all being separated. It matters what you're trying to do. If I'm positioning here, I'm expecting to have a mage. That's going to crack in, for example, like a Poseidon. It's going to crack in everyone. But let's say I don't have like a big burst mage. Uh, let's say like, actually soul would still be pretty good, but let's just say I have a mage that doesn't really have one of those big ult finishers. If I spread everyone out, that could be better because I get to isolate a target. It takes them longer to group up and then start protecting this target again. So try to think, what am I trying to do? Am I trying to set up for my mage? Am I trying to sickle someone out and kill them? Always know that before going to a team fight and then execute it. After that, you might have saw this earlier. I'm going to actually level up to make it a little more clear. You are able to body block as a Hoonbots in your ult. And that is actually very, very important. Cause let's say you're just in a let's say you're just in the lane. Obviously I could, I could like place my ult and ult him into the wall, but let's say I didn't have that wall right there. What I can do is I can ult him and then just stand right here. He's not even moving, see? Knowing to body block with Hoonbots is very important because sometimes you'll get like an ult like this. I'm gonna refresh this and then show you. It might just be like the tip where you hit him. It might even be further and you might be like on the very edge. That's when the body block is crucial because you went just changed it from a probably like half second CC to two seconds. So Humots 2, I'm kind of jumping all over the place with this, but I'm just coming as it going with it as it comes to my mind. Humots 2 is really bluntly put a really bad ability early and late. It's only really strong mid-game, and that's because it does decent damage and it can space well. Coming late though, you don't use this ability for damage. If I'm fighting someone like this, I'm never gonna just like be in melee range and two them. Two reasons. It's super easy to juke, and second, it's worse damage than they're auto-attacking. Like look, my, I can get two autos in the time my two happens. My two does 500. That's 540. It's a little more damage. It's no mana. The only time I ever want a 2 is when I'm trying to space. Your 2 has no movement speed penalty. So if I'm if they're ever chasing me, I can, like, let's say I'm being chased, I can just 2 away, turn back, turn him forward. That's the one thing you want to know. How to use his 2. Use it to space. If I'm autoing and I know they're, like, low, like, let's say I'm 1 auto away, they're, like, 15%. I'm going to run away, they're going to chase, I'm going to 2 and do, like, just kite them. Knowing how to kite with your 2 is very important. Other than that... Uh, use your one to, hmm, that's the way to put this. Use your one to immune abilities. A lot of jumps and smite are immunities as well. So let's say this Odin's about to 2-1 bird bomb. I'm autoing, right when he jumps, I'm going to jump as well, immune the bird bomb, and land in slow him. You don't really want to use your one to fight unless you can immune one of their abilities, like I just said, or to get away. If the Odin's chasing me, I jump away. Simple as that. Humbats has a very fast jump. So, it's good. Last thing I'm going to talk about Hoonbots is knowing how to monkey balance. As I said, his 3 is probably the most important skill to know how to do well. If you're, if you're, if you're in melee range of his 2, you're losing like a little damage. Uh, you're not kiting properly. If you use your 1 aggressive and you don't mean something, you're still getting damage. You're still getting a passive. But knowing how to 3 properly can pretty much drop a kill or get you a kill a lot of the time. It's not just damage, it's mobility. So look, I want to hit that. That's important. 
if there's ever a time I see someone like, let's say this is like a Sobek and then this is a soul. I'm going to hit the soul or the Sobek and then bounce the Sobek or into the soul. Probably should have chose something that don't sound so somewhere. But you get my point. Try to hit a target that is going to bounce you because threeing a target and then instant teleporting when there's people around them can sometimes be a little buggy. Like, I might be spamming my three, and yes, that works, but if I am a second late, if my monkey's, like, here, and I'm spamming my three, it's going to be delayed, and it's going to bounce to him, and I'm going to teleport to him. So a lot of the time, it's better to just throw it a second target and then bounce to the, your target you want. Knowing how the bounces work is going to be one of the things that take the longest to get used to, but it is definitely one of the most important things now to do as a Hoonbots. Other than that, I pretty much covered everything the, with tips, tricks, and ganks, and how to play them. I'm going to do a full combo on this raw just so you have an idea of what to expect. Late game, it's a little different. It's really simple. Let's say he doesn't have beads. You just blink, alt, auto, three, auto, boom, like that. You don't two. As I said, the two is actually less damage. You only two if they're escaping, and then you chase them with the two. You can hold your three if you are if you know for a fact. Let's say they have a lot of defense or a lot of health. For some reason, you know you're not going to kill them with your build right away. You can even just straight up auto them. Just do this. This is perfectly fine what I'm about to do. Just alt and auto. You've done a crime. If they let's say they You've jump away, you murder. can jump chase them. Let's say they start doing something like where they continue running away, they pop a sprint. You can three them, teleport to it. All do Hoombots is very versatile what he can do. Use like use his abilities according to the situation. Don't just have a rotation and use it. If you one shot, sure, have a rotation and use it. But if you can't one shot, know the situation when to use each ability. The one's very good to chase. The three's very good to chase as well. The three's very good for auto attack canceling. It's gonna be higher damage output than most things you do. It's gonna be some of your highest damage output due to auto attack cancellations actually. The two is very bad in damage output late game. It's better to just auto attack. Use it to chase. Hoombots is very good at chasing people down. It's just... Hoombots has such a rough early game. Getting to the point where you're chasing people down instead of being chased can be a little rough. I would say the key time as a Hoombots player is early game. Not because Hoombots like, is strong early game and he has to focus on abusing it, but because he's so weak that once... Your worry is to survive it. Once you survive it, you're in a really good spot. But that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks. We're going to go to gameplay now. Okay, so I'm going to start this a little early just because I want to talk about really lanes. So Merkin to me, I actually would say that's favorable for me. I can 3 a Merc before he goes away and I can actually TP to him. He doesn't really have a great CC immune ult. Mine's pretty easy to interrupt his ult. Ymir on her versus a Hachi Arshio. That lane's pretty volatile, though I don't know who really wins it. It should be pretty close. I would say actually the Ymir on her, probably by a little. But whatever lane win, whatever is lane, is whether it's ours or theirs, is winning is going to probably keep winning and pretty hard, most likely. Each one has a very high kill chance on the opponents. If the Arshio and Hachi get ahead, that Ymir should be farmed. If the on her... Ymir get ahead, the Arshio should be farmed pretty easily. Middle lane. They have a Raijin. Raijin's very rough for me to gank. He can ult my ult, and I really can't do anything to him unless I'm super fed where I can out damage his ult. So he's probably not going to be my target. The only time I'm going to switch to him as a target is if I know... Well, for two reasons. If he's not a good enough player where he can't react to my ult, or... Two would probably be if I know he doesn't have older beats. Most likely, since he's not a pro player, I'm going to presume he's not going to react to my old in time. So it's probably safe to do it, but against a competitive player, I would be wary of that. The Ama. Ama is actually very hard for me to gank. Uh, Ama has alt. She gets away almost every time. If she doesn't have alt, she dies. Turn, But Ama has a very low cooldown on her alt, 70 seconds. That's the reason it's hard. Most cooldowns in this game for assassins are around 90. Hoonbots has 100. So, yeah. If we can bait this, she should be easy to kill. Especially because canceling an almond dash with your ult is not too hard. Other than that, pretty much priority in teamfights you're going to be... I'm going to kill Merc, because if we don't die, hell lives. 
if I'm looking to gank, it's going to probably be duo, because once they get caught out, they're most likely just dead. And as I said, duels, duo is very volatile. If I get duo ahead, we probably just went off that. Almost proxying. You need to do this by yourself? No, no, no. I definitely need you. I I'll go straight red. I'll go straight red. Even if he comes here, I don't think he gets it. Just tell me if he rotates. I fucked up. Right? Where's he going? I don't know if they're heading to our purple. I'm. Late. Uh, if I was paying attention there, I would have known that. If our duo would have called that, I probably would have rotated immediately. I'm actually going to take my 3 here instead of my 1 because my 3 is much faster clear. Merc could be on lefts in this. I'm going to check this. If these are down, I'm actually very far behind and I'm in a pretty bad position, I would say. These aren't. That's incredible for me. I'm going to also check blue. That means Merc probably went to red. Yep, this is very good for me. Arshio doesn't get this. Her lane's very oh, I'm rough. I'm 90% sure the jungler went to their park player on the right side of the map, so their blue might still be out. Yeah, I'm checking it now. He just hit three. I think he might have dropped it. This could get me a little... Yeah, Merc definitely just dropped it. Since the way this jungle game is looking, I'm going to just farm... Slow her. Crit. Really lucky. I don't have mana. Even if I did have mana, it wouldn't have been a kill. Very good poke by the Sar Shield. I could try for their back less, but I don't know timer on it versus this is very smooth jungle path for me, so I'm just gonna do this. Even if Merc is ahead of me. I'm not quite sure. Probably off getting purple or something. I really wish I could back, but just the way jungle buffs are spawning. Defend! Defend! I don't have mana. I guess we're just losing that then. They're actually in lane. I can go there. Can you actually? Do you have a heal or anything? I have, a, I have a, an offense stance. Three. <laughs> I did that. No. Just in case he tries the wall. First blood. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Last hitting. I know. I was fucking watching. I was there, man. Dude, they just seem to be like. Curve the bullet, homie. Like, <laughs> listen, I don't need you telling me you last hit my goddamn kill. Yeah. So I really wish I got that because actually, what it got me boots. Dude, dude, really want to go against the hell with the first blood? Nah, but I really want to get my fucking power boots. All right, I can respect that. Merc is farming super hard and he's not ganking, which is understandable you want as a more merc. Anywhere specifically, or am I nah, as long as you don't die, I'm honestly happy. Defensive wards it is! I'll get lane. I wanna see if he threes. Enemy missing middle! Oh my god! Good job killing that idiot. That idiot on the other team. I see Merkin left, so I feel safe to do this. He's going to his blue buff. I'm just backing. Right I'm Uma. I'm dead Uma. Do the heal. No, you're gonna get fucked. Are you dead? I'm dead Um. I'm taking help. I'm splitting. Done. You died when I 
specifically as I was really hoping the Archie was done. Good job. Oh, bye boy. Where the fuck was our solo lane for so long? My speed might be gone. Oh, he's not sick. That Merc is really big off that. That only happens because I'm dead home and I invade backs. I just don't go to backs there. That's what's. That's all that was wrong. Good news is though, I can farm a Raijin. Big midwave. I love fat midwaves. Can you force them to jump, maybe? I'm ulting them. You have slain an enemy. Like that? That's my boy, Wolfie. I like my wind waves, and I like my woman. Honor impel on me. That's Mark Dash. <laughs> Got timer on it, 605. Just typing out timer. We really need our dueling to not get fragged. This mark's not that big anymore due to that kill, which is really nice. Gonna go back lefts. What if you have. Okay. I'm just trying to farm these back super efficiently. Did Merc cross over to mid? Uh, no, but he's on the right side of the map. Then I'm just getting his back lefts. These have a very short cooldown, so get these whenever you can. <laughs> what happened? No, I said I like my midway, it's like I like my woman. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I know they're gonna take it. There's no way we can stop them from doing that. Nah, that's fine. Just wasn't expecting it. Uh, I want to back. I have Crusher on back. It's fine. I'm going to get my speed. <laughs> you able to get right camps? Okay. One mana. One. I want to keep control on his back lefts at all time. That will make me able to out farm super hard. It's just a matter of, is she dead left? If she doesn't die left, that's so good, but she's definitely dead. Your left tower is under attack. I'd want to nope, kill that guy mind. too. There's a fucking like mirror there. Sure. He walled me the fuck off. Retreat left lane. No way is she getting away with this. Okay. There's a double kill. Okay. Uh, it's really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> they actually just suicided. Uh, I really want to get their backs, is the issue. I'm still laughing because there's some bad people in my chat right now. <laughs> I'm going to look for Merc Beads if they're up. Surprising him beats there. I would have killed him if I knew he wasn't gonna beat. I decided like two. But I'm just like he's just gonna beat dash away, I have to catch it with my three. Nice job. Just like I'm gonna place this on his these and back. This should be like when this is like about to spawn, I'm just gonna run to these. Okay, let's start working on Yodens. I could have probably actually got a kill there in mid. Damn, Wolfie. You know what game I was watching the other day? I'll say it after, actually. No! Launch tournament against fucking uh, Cog. Oh, I fragged that game. Yeah. Watching uh, Omega take hell just to prevent you from having it. <laughs> and I won the lane anyway. <laughs> Trying to OP. Just want to keep those. Enemy spotted. Dude, I almost had like fucking three kills, but Yannick had the snap. 
Not using my ult there is incredible. You know, after I keep fucking taking shots at me for the thirst, when I had the most unfair fucking team in my life, that wasn't even fair. Who was it? You, Nanton? It was me and every random player in the fucking world. All I remember is Nanton. Nanton quit the second week. I had to replace a player every single day. And then, wait, wasn't it at the time EMC also got banned, like, right before an SPL game? Yeah, so what, ha so what happened was, was, right, is I played with Pain, right? Yeah. And that was the team at first. Everyone on that team quit. I had to make a team. Yeah. Oh, I got a team. That's a killing spree. EMC got banned. Oh my god, you ran to the right. Left. My bad, I wanted to get these. And then Nantan quit a week after. Conflict arises. I will stand beside So I literally had like. I'm backing now, so getting that, speed that back cool left. about only having a limited amount of players in the SPL is because of me, by the way. You started listing everyone. We literally had like 15 players on the Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. We had people that only played two games of the SPL total on my team. Okay. Sorry, I'm like kind of getting distracted with fucking Wolfie. But right now, I'm in a very good like Jake, point. Uh, Jaco Malfoy was there every fucking game though. God bless Jaco. I want to get those back less super I had, bad. Like, 1780 carries. I had Recon. I had Xenotronics. I had Met Yankee. I had fucking. I'm gonna avoid getting the back oh, right so I can gank right. <laughs> Attack the right Attack lane! The right uh, lane. Turtle man. Attack the right <laughs> lane! <laughs> I fucked up. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I messed up as if I threw sooner. I'm good. I'm only beating if he ults. I'm coming. He walled you off. I'm looking for a blink ult on this Rajin. I'd want to kill that guy too. Like for sure. We got healed, it's okay. We got healed, it's fine. Well, this works. Um, right there I did that play. It was bad, I should have blinked first. Merc doesn't have ult, so this is pretty secure. I don't need to like pull first. If Arshio can get their back lefts, so that would be the correct play by her. The reason it's correct is it gets me timers. She should have pressure against this dude. I'm not going to get it, which means I'll lose it. Which definitely hurts, but can't do anything about it, so whatever. I'm backing for speed now. Back lefts to blue. Blue's probably gone. We're going to lose left tower as well. Let's get... I think I want brawlers. Did not mean to buy a mana pot there. Oh, we don't lose that? That's sick. Either way, not getting these is rough. Him taking these is really bad for me. There's no reason, especially when these are up. It's just messing up my jungle path. It's forcing me to go duo when I don't necessarily want to go duo, especially since portal is up. It's all, don't worry about it. I'm big, so it's all good. But yeah, since he's forcing me to go over here, it's when portal's up could be rough. It's basically game over now. As long as we don't play completely fucking stupid, we should win for real. Attack the right lane! That was bad. If I hit that as a kill. Or it's him poked yeah. out to a point where he can't fight. I wanna kill this person so bad. Even if he goes on me, it's worthless. He doesn't have beads, I can look for a blink ult. Enemy ultimate down! Hmm. Good juke, I guess. <laughs> I did that to cancel freeze, I didn't have beads. That's a killing Let's get this, get mana, I see the team fight, they're going to T2, we don't dive that. I have mana pot actually, I guess we... Killing. This tower. This game's probably over just for the fact that we have a massive Foon bots and a massive Hell. I love this god so much. 
What is that damage? It's a phone jam. It's actually like amazing on how. <laughs> I'm just autoing this because it's probably around the same damage just tailing and I want the mana for secure on my three. I'll two and then three. This will scare even Shibalba. So this game's gone pretty much as perfect as it could. Merc got a little ahead early, but it doesn't matter. He's really hurting the Raijin by taking I'm presuming so. Eh, he's not even taking his farm. I could have done counter jungling better. Wolfie's big. I would say like the big difference is Wolfie's playing better than their Rajin versus me playing better than this Merc. Hmm, not sure how I feel about that build. Merc's looking for a desperate play. If you can stop him from backing, that's so good. Rampage. Your left tower is under attack. Your right tower is under attack. Your left tower is still going. That's the rampage. On my way. I really wanted that mark kill. Just run straight to me. Have some faith. I will stand aside. Unless someone playing with a hell player, don't move. <laughs> just run, just don't even move. I've I've run straight and they've still missed it before. I'll check. I can see that. Yeah, just don't don't move. Sometimes they miss that, but it's less likely. Good freeze! I should have jumped there. I want to kill that guy. This is really weird. I don't want to be here. I'm just leaving them. Killed, That's but, uh, pretty dumb. You, you did really everything you could. My agents were down. We're also kind of diving Titan. Yeah, Are you but I so you didn't play that guy? I killed them all. It was my fault. Let's really hope you're really hope I can solo gold because we're losing this so I can't. Unfortunate, really? That was on me. Like when your middle Oops. tower is under attack. I did a boo boo. <laughs> yes. That's too bad. I'm definitely you know, autoing over twoing. Yeah. Can't got me. I'm running this way because of Merkolds. I can't be hit. Yep, there it is. Retreat. Retreat. That works. I didn't want to have to use that, but I did. Your is such a good carry in ranked because he's so easy to play around that if anyone sees a giant circle of people getting CC, they know what to do. Versus like on a Merc pull, people might not know what to do. Like yes, it might seem very obvious to the Merc, and even some of you say mid ADC players, supports, whatever you are, but I think the biggest thing you have to do in ranked is not overestimate what your teammates can do. Like you might think that's the most obvious, simplest play ever, and you have to actually think, no, my teammate doesn't know that. So we're up a decent amount. Um, wish it was more, but it kind of like it's just because of that failed dive. I don't want to be the one pushing this up with me being the biggest one. I'm not there, by the way, since left so far pushed up. I'm coming. I'll be there in like 20. Merc's not there either, so this could be a really good fight. I have alt in four. I'm going deep behind. They just used everything on me and I survived. Are you jealous that you didn't get to slay I'm not getting her. I'd want to kill that guy too. Screw up with me. Attack 
Let's get this in the Phoenix. Second, second, second. I just want to get back on the Phoenix. I don't think we end. We might be able to, actually. It's sketchy, though. I have all in five if you can live. Allies you killed, but uh, you, you, you did really everything. Unstop. Beware of the jungle man. Because of I fucked up mechanically there. Your ally has been slain. I'm just trying to get our buffs. They're gonna probably look for an FG pull. I don't have ult because I try to get that merc, which I do think is correct. So I don't get that, I don't know how we steal it. I have to give up FG. It's like out of habit, I keep looking at my side monitor even though nothing's there. Okay, so here, do they have a thorns? They have one thorns on her. Beads, beads, I guess. I could go trans, I could go heartseeker. Um, personally what I like, Deathbringer's fine. I'm not going to really be killing the tanks. Titans is actually okay here. But I think if we kill their squishies, Titans doesn't matter in the long run. I one shot that, that Ryzen so fast. Every time. I think what I'm going to actually go with is Hydras. Or I could even go Trans. Actually, I'm going Hydras. I want to be sure I'm right on this before I say this real quick, which I'm like 90% sure, but... Yeah, okay, so, reason I prefer Hydras on Hoonbots is really simple. Let's kill this is down. Is Hydras isn't an additional source of damage? Get out the slow. What? When I was cute. Yeah. Oh shit, nice. I didn't see that. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure like Rajin doesn't hit me with a one. So yeah, I hit the armor there to TP to Merc. Minions, I was going for minions at least. They do have fire. I have Alden 10. I have Alden 2. These fight right now this fight shouldn't be a full commit, it should be let let's just bait something. We should push middle. Attack middle lane. Oh, Skelly, you are on your own. Retreat. I'm not moving. I have brawlers in divine on me for two. Oh, that's off. That's armor thorns. You have cleanse? You did really everything. Shut down. Damn, that sucks, he missed. Return to base. Really hope your allies. Oh my fucking god. We might lose. Your ally has been slain. Ready. We're getting mid Phoenix at least. 
They're taking too long to end, I think. Damn, dude. They're diving so hard and splitting up. It kind of just sucks we keep dropping the kill on Merrick when he CC'd. Which is definitely my fault included because I missed my three there. If I hit my three there, Merc does. I used them. I, uh, I think I missed my one. But yeah, this Merc right now. Really? Uh, I'm not sure what this Merc's building right now, actually. He's <laughs> really fucking fast. Yeah, I understand us not hitting him. We don't focus him at all. We just kill on here, I guess. Merc does legit nothing. This is not a good build on Merc. Don't build that, guys. He's very fast, and that's about it. I'm gonna go get Raijin beads or something. And that's what happens when you do a perfect auto attack cancel. That's blink ult, no ult for 50. On her beads. See what I mean by you don't really need the damage when you have this build. But yeah, getting back to what I was saying, I don't think I finished it, is uh, Hydra's works with crit, so if I crit someone, the Hydra's proc goes towards that crit. It's not an extra source of damage, it's additional damage to your auto. So when you crit with a Hydra's proc, it actually increases the damage of the crit. I have all in 18. Why don't we just kill the Emir? Uh, I don't know. I think we're closer to the ammo. I think he's gonna push middle. It's whatever, we haven't... I'm trying to come. Merc's probably gonna ult this. That's why I'm like... I got it. Oh, the greatest. False god. False god. Oh, left lane. I can find that with a one, baby. Attack left lane. <laughs> She should just take this. I still have Blink Ulti. I'm gonna look for Honor. He has no beats. Never mind, he's just not here. That's actually a good play because Honor probably should just know like if you walk up, buddy, you're dying. I'm not ulting him, it's pointless. Dude, that was a sick lens. Oh, that was a bad ult. Sorry, I'm gonna body block. Discord, I just bad ult, but I tried body blocking and put it kept them in the ult. I can't TP to him. He's in fountain. He beats that. Jump out, trying to jump out. Okay, whatever. That's a win. Um, I play. I think I played that fairly well. Merc just had a lot of farm. I don't really think I was behind. My team fights in Merc late game is good. I think I played that pretty well. But either way, that was the gameplay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.